guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video, I'm gonna be starting a series and it's gonna be Knot of the Week. And so what I'm basically gonna be doing is showing you a different type of knot each week that you can use in macrame. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you can use it in a like a wall hanging piece. Um, some of these are decorative knots so that you can use them on your on their own. The one I'm doing today I see most common with like lanyards or just using it as like a decorative piece to the start of a project or anything like that. I'm gonna be doing a five loop crown knot and it's also known as a shamrock knot and I think maybe like a good luck one or something like that. The one I'm gonna be doing today has two extra knots to like the traditional three loop one and so this is gonna be a five loop and so it's gonna be a little bit bigger but I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super simple once you get it. It just looks a little intricate and so for this one it's not gonna be one that you're gonna be doing vertical on a wall hanging. I'm gonna be doing it on the ground and showing you how to do it that way. So here we go. Okay so this is the knot that I'm gonna be showing you. It looks super super beautiful. I absolutely love the way it looks. Um, it definitely looks just so intricate and detailed and you can, you know, make these as tight or as loose as you want, but this is what the end product is going to look like. And you can do so much with this. You can make it smaller. You can make it larger. You can incorporate this into a piece. You can actually even use this to attach to a dowel rod and have this hanging from the wall. Um, I think that would be absolutely beautiful having this as a top piece. So anyways, I just have some natural cotton cord here and I believe the page that I read said it needs to at least be 90 inches. Alrighty, so what you are going to do is you're going to start out by taking two ends of your rope and I've got it about just like that right there and then you just travel down just how I tell you how to do a lark's head knot and you get the little loop de loop at the end. But instead of attaching it to something, we're going to lay it on the floor. How you're gonna start out is you're gonna have it just like this and then you're gonna take it up the side on the right side and you're just gonna make another one of those little loops about like that and one more about here just about like that and then you're gonna leave it and you're gonna repeat it on the other side Okay, so once you've got your little booger situated down here and it looks like a big old splat of slime, that's what it makes me think of, what you're going to do is you're going to take your ends. And so we're going to label these as loop one, two, three, four, and five. What you're going to do is you're going to take the ends right here and you're just going to kind of fold them over loop one, but you're going to make sure to leave a little loop because you're going to be taking loop five and pushing it through there eventually. But for now, what we're gonna do is it's super simple. You just repeat the same thing over and over again, but as you go, it's gonna look like it's just a ball of yarn or rope sitting on the ground. But I promise, once you pull it, it starts to work. So you're gonna take loop one and you're gonna fold it, making sure that the ends are in the inside of it and fold it over loop two, just like that. I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see every little thing that I'm doing. Now you're going to take loop two and you're going to take it, making sure that loop one is still inside it, loop it over and loop it over loop three. So it's going to look something like that. And now you're going to take loop three, making sure that this loop two is still inside it and loop it over it and over loop four just like that. So you can see how these ropes are starting to lean just like that. And now you're going to take loop four, loop it over loop three and five, just like that. Then you're going to take loop five, loop it over this one and through these ends, just like that until it literally looks like a pile of rope sitting there. But now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of gently tug these loops. And by doing so, the knot is going to form. So I'm going to take the ends right here and tug on those a little, pull those. So you can see the knot already beginning to form. And once you've completed that little step, it should look something like that. And now what you're going to do, instead of doing it like this, we're going to flip it this way. So the top point of the rope is going to be facing you. And now we're going to take the ends and flip them over this rope. So we're going to be going in an opposite direction. But we essentially do the same exact thing. So we take this rope, fold it over, take this rope, fold it over, And see, so this is where these ropes are going to get a little short, so you're going to kind of have to hold it as you go. 
you just keep taking that one that you folded over and keep folding it over. And that last one you're going to fold over and go through that loop again, just like so. And then I'm just going to pull those strings tight. Pull it tight, tight. And you can see the little loops. You don't want to lose the loops, so be sure to just keep tugging on them. There should be, when you're looking at it, just like this, there should be a little rope here. One here. One here. And in between each of those. And you're going to kind of loosen those up. It's going to take a little bit of... It's going to take a little bit of work just because you've pulled these so tight, but you can just kind of loosen them up. Just start pulling one at a time. And there you have it. So anyways, that is my very first nut of the week, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, let me know. If you don't, I mean, that's cool too. Um, just let me know what you would like to see. And thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day, and God bless.